so we are actually confused about what exact information we have which is getting converted into knowledge and wisdom so could you please give us some clarity on this aspect that uh, how we should acquire or how we should be more knowledgeable and wise persons over to you swami ji i am a wise person so this is a very common term and people are most people are confused and misunderstood it. so knowing something is a very easy part but putting it into action or practice is an entirely different story different as we all know that we should eat healthy exercise work hard be disciplined but frankly if you ask that how many of us we put live the discipline that is the question because there is a gap between knowing and doing this is the gap between knowledge and wisdom gap between knowing and doing action so knowledge and wisdom also there is a gap knowledge is knowing wisdom is practice action doing knowledge is often mistaken for wisdom see we admire the people who have collected so many data information uh, so many things but rare are those are wise who have transformed themselves within wisdom will come when you transform yourself from within as you know some of you we began the emphasis in the assimilation of ideas that is the under the backbone of the spiritual life as wonderful examples also is they are drinking milk so if you drink the milk it go to the inside belly that is not assimilated this milk should go to the blood blood through blood it takes to the nerve cells and start working whole human system so that is called assimilation simple drinking milk is not a assimilation unless through different stages this milk transform into energy in our life in our blood so that is a an example assimilation as you know knowledge without wisdom knowledge kills us knowledge bring our life in a very hazardous position in a dangerous position and very fatal position without wisdom if he is the knowledge so there are the three friends there were and they are close friends they went abroad for higher education after five years they came back one learn how to join two dead pieces of the body another learn to give them life how do one just simple science common sense so these are the knowledge they gather from the abroad when three were working in the street they found two pieces of the dead tiger so first and told i can join it he joined it two parts second one he 
stage I can give life to him. So third one, we started common sense, knowledge, general science. He asked not to do it. It is dangerous for them. So the second one does not hear it. He gives the life to the tiger. And in the meantime, third person climb big uh, tree, huge high tree to save his life. So tiger got up, get the lives and and tiger attacked them and killed them. So knowledge also killed them without wisdom. That is a very vivid examples. So this is the difference between see knowledgeable person cannot take right decision the right time. And wise persons can take the right decisions and at right time in a very difficult situation where a knowledgeable person is not possible there. So these are the things you can think. Our ancient Indian sages show just three stages for gaining wisdom. Three stages for the gaining the wisdom. First, Sravan, second Manon, third Nididhashan. Sravan means intake, knowledge. Manon means reflection, thinking, all the knowledge or intake for a longer period of time and experience it. Third stage is Nididhashan, the more decide practice on meditation. So three Nididhashan means it is such that integrate these into your system. Whatever knowledge you gather, first seven intake, manon, go on reflection, then you see different angles, experiment with it, and third stage will come, it integrate it to your system to change yourself, transform yourself. So you see, Madan, uh, this is a uh, and we can see a laboratory compared to the laboratory. In a teaching, when you learn laboratory is necessary, those who are studying in the science, physics, chemistry, you go to the developer. What? Experience it, taste it. Our theory portion, knowledge portion, we taste it. That is in the laboratory. So, our laboratory is within us, that is inside, that is called, called mind. So we should experience the ideas from the inside. We think this is the laboratory to test it. That means from within, you should transform yourself. That is knowledge transform into wisdom when you have changed from within. So that is compared as a laboratory, the place where knowledge turns to wisdom. So this way they can uh, compare and they can say, but this assimilated, integrate these ideas into your system that is the most important one. Turn, turn knowledge to wisdom. In the Gita, you will find Arjun speaks of the wisdom, but unable to live there. That is why Krishna came. Why? To inspire him. Ignited Arjun, Buddha Nididhasan, to, uh, to get the real wisdom of the life. So, the another way you can differ, wisdom is the ability to make correct judgment and decision. It is an intangible quality gained through our experience in life. A day-to-day -day, day -day experience is a part of the laboratory. Day-to-day, -day, 
uh, experience through your life that is the part of the laboratory or you can say the practical thing so wisdom is ability to make correct judgment and decision it is an intangible quality gained through your experience that is knowledge is information of who is someone is ever and knowledge is also necessary to get confident understanding of the subject so that is the broad difference between knowledge and wisdom but people need wisdom to save the life to live like a king a joyful life purposeful life meaningful life we need wisdom because if we have no wisdom that means our knowledge has not transformed to has not been transferred to wisdom then we cannot take the right path right decision in right time that is the importance of the wisdom so wisdom actually if you think first to transform yourself then you can say something which is called wisdom i want to wisdom from somebody that means this person has totally transform himself transform themselves within by experience because through the knowledge he put into practice in in behavior in one action that is a wisdom so he changes and then he advise others so persons always change himself within but there is a mistakes that we are knowledgeable means we are wisdom but that is not true knowledgeable each data collection the data to make you confident understanding a subject that's all wisdom related to the inner life total life so these are the few points for difference between knowledge and wisdom and process to how to gain wisdom it is shravan manan niridhasha which uh, very few people practice it mostly they are given in attention to the collection of the data information but that will not help at all in our life wisdom will help our life to save our life make our life joyful meaningful and successful so these are the few points i noted so you can now ask question yes uh, swami ji there are quite a few questions for uh, you you have explained it very nicely now the first question is uh, what is the role of practice and will power uh, in cultivating wisdom see practice of will power whenever you want to practice anything that is your will power is required your determination is required your understanding is required if it is not there you will not do it as you get the degree suppose you become an engineer or doctor same theory are applying will power is there and conviction is there only there you are acquiring knowledge collecting data information here same will power same intent is required to experience experiment in your life from within to transform knowledge into wisdom for wisdom you have to shravan mano nidhasan that means this practice experiment suppose one example so already we know don't tell a lie from a child but in practical purpose this is a knowledge this is information nothing but but in our day to day life we are not following this 
the system. We do not leave the principle because we have not di uh, digested it, assimilated it, and we have not transformed into wisdom. So why you are not able to leave the principle because we have not seen deeply manan, 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 and the darshan, that means that the integrate it with your system. So whenever there is a chance of light, your system will fail. Do not do it. Do not do it. Your system, as it's gone, example is that milk transform into uh, blood, to go through the blood and give the energy. So suppose is a mosquito just bite your backside, hand will go automatically. Similarly, wisdom is such knowledge, such practice, assimilated, it had spread through your whole system, nervous system. Whenever there is any light coming behind you, it automatically react and tell you, no, don't do it. As Sri Ramakrishna life, you will find it. So that is why the practice means assimilation. Thinking is necessary. Otherwise, it becomes revealed the theory, knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. It is not a wisdom at all. Yes. So next question. Yeah, Swamiji, you have explained uh, cultivation of wisdom on the basis of Shravan, Manan and Nididhyasa. So if we consider these three aspects, why we find uh, the elderly people succeed and youngsters usually fail? Uh, with Whether they fail with Manan, Shravan, Nididhyasa, what is the problem? When it comes to elderly, most of them, we find uh, uh, that they are... On an average, they are better than young counterparts. So, could you tell us where we are lacking? Youngsters are lacking. That is two angles you see. When the youngsters have decided to, I have to become an IS officer. How much focus mind? How is body system? Nerve system is such they have forget about the sleep. They are not affected by, because of the uh, sleep. Because they are so much engrossed, they transform themselves. So there is no question of sleep, disturbance, night, two or three o'clock is they are working. How it has happened a person? They see the other person who is not decided to become an ISF is a simple officer. This transformation has come in the body system, whole system, even whole day and night, I have to study, I can study, but I have to complete this project. All of us are doing. The, how this system changes? When this project is over, then that much, uh, uh, that much of force, that much of external force cannot come in to you and make you alert and, and work 28 hours. So how it has changed yourself? Forget sleep, food. So similarly, when there is a determination and willpower is there, if young uh, chap or young boys or girls, they are ambition to get a good degree. That is why that willpower and force changes themselves. There is no question of values and morality. They have transformed themselves. That is why they are able to study 12 hours, 13 hours, 14 hours. When care of morality, youngsters, they do not uh, think, give the value of the morality. But for the olden people, they have seen priority is to give the morality and uh, do the good thing. So they are giving the maximum energy and efforts and willpower to change themselves. So they give the Sravan Mananidhi Dasan. All people aim is to get the good things and take the God's name, that is the my aim. But the youngsters aim is to get the good degree, to become a big officer. So same uh, power and same notion is working. 
for their youngsters goal is different and old uh, old people uh, goal is different that is the difference the same theory working and they transforming themselves that is why there is no question of tiredness 18 20 hours studying mm -hmm. i think you got the point yes swami ji uh, swami ji sometimes uh, we find that when people are miserable when they face some nature blows calamities some loss in the family loss of in relationship money power position they become wise uh, not all but to some extent so how it is related what we should know about it what is the mechanism the loss, the loss or calamity uh, death of near and dear a stimulation this stimulation sometimes open their eyes. This is the truth. What I am thinking it is not true. Death is ultimate goal of human life. That is the truth. If this idea comes, this man becomes a little wiser. It is not coming to everybody. This particular situation gives some kind of jar to someone to think, pandar. Again, that comes the wisdom. Yeah, that is the truth I have seen. Life is not the end of everything. Death is the end of everything. So that gives some kind of wisdom and knowledge. That is a temporary, some kind of jerking, uh, sudden situation it comes. It happens. But not uh, most people are not uh, affected by this situation. Every one or two person, they get wisdom or some kind of higher knowledge in the life. Is yes. a sudden jerk of their life. Question, Maharaj. Okay, then. Yeah, 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 Maharaj. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, when the mind is tuned, sometimes we are able to take uh, correct decisions. And uh, sometimes when the mind is not tuned enough, then we miss it. So uh, how to, uh, some tips to reduce this gap and uh, how to make that uh, balance. See, that you have to uh, practice and do it. See, just like a small boy want to just learning to walk. You walk, fall down, walk, fall down, walk, fall down. Then uh, slowly perfection will come. That is in our life also what you are asking. Yes, that is the fall, rise and fall, rise and fall, and ultimately perfection will come. All will be less, rise will be more. Process is the same. There is no uh, shortcut. That always one thing, all if you remember, there is a big gap between knowledge and wisdom. So this gap, try to minimize it by Sravan Manan Vidyasan, practicing, experiencing in your day to day life. Experience, experiment in your day to day life, in behavior. Unless you minimize this gap, that means in your behavior, you do not behave such a way. You know so many good things, so many good ideas in the form of the knowledge, not in the action. So, Knowing and action, you must uh, reduce the gap in action, in your behavior, in your uh, reaction. You show this, and your life will be joyful. And you will be joyful and always bright, praise because you are able to take the right decision. You know, this is the uh, wisdom. So, knowledge. Not much helpful in, a, in our day-to-day -day life or in lifestyle. Knowledge helps you to make you confident in a particular subject. You are more confident, that's all. Okay, we should close here now. Yes. Thank you, Swami. Thank you. Thank you.